on one of the days, um, we were supposed to have a date. He came to my house, like downstairs. Then I had no time to draw eyebrow, no time to draw anything, right? So then we sit at the lamppost. Then make sure I chose the dimmest lamppost. No. Hi, I'm Julian. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Leah, and this is Zula Chit Chat. Hi guys, welcome to today's episode of Zula Chick Chats and today we are going to be talking about the honeymoon phase in relationships. We have three people over here to share uh, their honeymoon phases in their relationships. So, the first, uh, the, why? Can you explain what the honeymoon phase is? I, what do you mean? I'm married. <laughs> I okay. forgot about it. It's been a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the honeymoon phase, I guess, would be the period uh, before your relationship got, starts getting serious, so all the butterflies, all the uh, romantic gestures. Uh, uh. Well, first question, maybe we'll let the audience know for you guys how long have you been in your relationships? Almost six years. Mm. Yeah, almost mm. six years. Oh, mine's uh, three years plus. Mine is <laughs> seven months. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, mine is about two years. So the honeymoon phase for y'all was it very like was it a very long period for you guys or? I would say a few months, like maybe two to three months. Mm. Yeah. Strangely enough, I did ask my boyfriend this question recently. Then he said that he still feels like the honeymoon phase now. Aww. But for me, when I see him now, it's like a calm and like, oh, I know this person very well. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can be safe with this person. Not that it went downhill after that, lah, but you know, the <laughs> whole. Stagnated. Yeah, the whole like, eh, thing was about two to three months. I would say it's, a, it's similar for mine. Personally, right, I feel like I'm a very chill person, right? So, like, the eh phase didn't last very long, so. <laughs> I know he was in his honeymoon phase when we were in Mongolia. Oh, yeah. I remember. What happened in Mongolia? Yeah, because like we, because we didn't we didn't have um, reception right yeah. when we were in Mongolia. But when when we came back to the uh, like the lodging place right, he was like, I was like giggly. <laughs> And then I like send video message or then like eee! Yeah, I mean that's, that's basically the like the more intense, you know, like every moment yeah. is like Must it's like experiment. Is it coming back to you, Julian? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what what share? It's the entire first year. Because when we started dating, she didn't she put me on hold for like three months and Damn, uh, the three you. months was kind of like the test, you know? It's like the first ones were like I'll go to her office and I'll be like, uh hey MJ, um you want me to drive you home? It's like this is point A, point B. Is my house? Is her office? It's like this. But I still insisted. For my relationship, the the honeymoon period right is like before we got together. We were already friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then we already dated before, but then because he like flew overseas and stuff, uh -huh. so we didn't continue. So when he came back, then we started dating again. We yeah, I remember again. that period. Why? Why? Like, like excited. Like, what, what did I do? What did I do? Meet him. Yeah, I think I saw Leia once also uh. in Booking MRT. Then I'm like, hey, Leia, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Your boyfriend. Uh. Then she's like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> The story is that I bought him tickets to go see Odiza. I asked him because I know he's his real dish. I asked him, hey, uh, my friend got Lubang for these tickets. Do you want to go? I didn't say anything after that. He was like, oh, can you buy the ticket? Then I just like, how much you want me to buy the ticket? Then he was like, oh, I'm not going with you, man. <laughs> then I just, oh, is it going with me? Then I <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. My next question is that when was the point that you realised that you know your honeymoon phase like a bit ending already, right? Uh -huh. mm. Then what are like some things that you did then you realise like, oh sh like should I be doing this and you like question yourself a bit? When she finally farted in front of me. Oh yeah, like, uh -huh. like that. I was waiting man. <laughs> she only farted like three years. Three years were Into the relationship. <laughs> oh. she, like, yeah. she, she controlled. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you know when the honeymoon phase is over. <laughs> I think also like the, I think for girls it's like, you know you, Put on your appearance when you meet them or meet as a one year, right? Then at home you are a bit different. So it's like they stay over the person you like dress because you're like, oh my god, is that I take out everyone? They're gonna think I think I need to wear my specs here, then I need to wear my pink t-shirt, then all like oh my god, GG. So the thing is, right, you just don't address it. Yeah. You just remove, right? Then you just pretend nothing happened. Then you go, I just continue talking and nothing happened. If they want to say something about it, then they will say. Yeah. If I remember correctly, Justin saw me without makeup even before we were officially together. On one of the days, um, we were supposed to have a date. He came to my house like downstairs. Then I had no time to draw eyebrow, no time to draw anything, right? So I just go down, just ask what's what's what happened, what happened? Then we sit at the lamppost, then make sure I chose the dimmest lamppost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're very beautiful today. Thank you. <laughs> so for the guys, what's your we all have to meet somebody uh, from her side. What what's the most that you all do? For the first time I met her parents, 
I, I definitely dress up a bit like more mm. presentable. Yeah. Something like what I will wear to work, but not the, not the James Reynolds. Uh, <laughs> what is the work? Uh, so 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 it's like me like that, and then there's James Reynolds, and then there's another spectrum which is the jeans and normal shirt, and that you all always see. Uh, it's towards that direction. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think also like you say the first time meeting parents and everything. Yeah. Right? For me, it's like the first time I meet like the friends, right? Yeah. That in stress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh my god, friends want to think of. Oh really? And then yeah. they want to say like I'm not good for him or something. Like why are they doing that? Why are they saying? Uh, wow, last time your girlfriend pretty yeah. Yeah. yeah! Always say somebody just going out. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, so oh. like, 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 I'm meeting my childhood friend, like, yeah, cool, man. Are we drinking? Another thing, aside from meeting all these, like, friends and everything, right, mm. which I think is a very significant part of the honeymoon phase, there is a, uh, um, What's it called? Like the, the, the quirks come out in the relationship. Okay, so like for me right, she likes it when I like exercise. She wants me to exercise. If let's say there are weeks that I never exercise, right? Last time she was just like, so when you're exercising, you know that kind of thing, I was just like, oh, okay, okay I'll, I'll, I'll try to do this. Then she just, okay. Now it's the like, you have to say your knee, oh. <laughs> you say your knee. You say what you never do. In, in the end, right, it becomes a lot. Oh, sorry, 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 okay, I know, I know, I know, yes, yes, I wrong, I wrong, I wrong. <laughs> Basically, the, the, the crux of the argument is the like, you I say something, you, yeah. and then you never deliver. Yeah. So, what are some quirks that like, appear after the honeymoon? I think it's more of my peeve, because like, during the honeymoon period, you tend to be a bit more huggy huggy, that kind of thing. But after the honeymoon period, I feel a bit like, I uh, don't need to hug so much. Nah. <laughs> but his, his love language is physical touch. Okay? Oh. Yeah, so, not that I hate hugging, but like on the MRT, sometimes like, he will like, like, bear hug like that a bit, oh. and then I'll be like, Ayah, <laughs> 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 okay, Julia, for you? Mine is, um, our size difference is so much. That she hate, she hates it when I horseplay. Oh. <laughs> There's a high chance she's either injured yeah. or like got yeah, bruised. Yeah. There was one time, right? We were watching a movie. She was like leaning on my on my shoulder. Then I laughed like this, like <laughs> so I crushed her face behind my back, and then her nose was like this the entire. Time. <laughs> oh, this is like after honeymoon. Oh, she- Really, really, really. She should be more careful next time. <laughs> Cannot let go on this kind of thing. It's true. It's like, you know, even my boyfriend also like he would, last time he's like he annoyed me, then he was like, because I got seen before, like if you act cute, then it's my weakness. But now he's like, he will, he will just say like, oh sorry, <laughs> the kind of like, sorry me anything that you know. Then you like, oh. <laughs> 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 you just let the day pass. Okay, so uh, we asked on uh, Zula's IG if people have any questions about like relationships or like the honeymoon phase. So I'm gonna read it out and maybe y'all can give some advice. Oh, should I feel guilty for asking my partner to take more initiative in the relationship? In order for a relationship to work, right? There must be communication and compromise. So you want like, why are you not giving roses anymore? Say it! Don't expect the person to read your mind. Yes, yes. Always make sure you over deliver mm. in the relationship. Mm-hmm. Although, I know there's a phase that you feel like, I will talk anyway, this person will stick around and things like that. Someone asked, what if my partner doesn't like how I look after I reveal my face and true colours? Okay, firstly, this break one up. is... This one is... Hey, break up! <laughs> break up! Break up! He must love you for who you are! Wait, so this question I'm is like... It's like the partner don't like after remove ah, Yeah. Or haven't removed yet, scared to remove. Yeah. No, it's like what if they scared. Oh, okay. They scared because if, if like remove already and then don't like, right, the answer Amanda provided. already. So you're right. questioning it now, maybe give it a bit more time. Yeah. But, but like at the same yeah. time, right, this episode, right, we have provided the model answer for how to react. For girls, right, when you remove your makeup, they already say, really don't acknowledge, just yeah. appear. Don't acknowledge. Appear like the goddess you are, then just like, yeah, <laughs> what's different? And then as you can see from this conversation also, right, the guys, we don't know anything, man. Yeah, guys are not as observant or like as critical as you think about your appearance. Mm. As someone has asked this question which I think a lot of people face. My parents hate my boyfriend but Ooh. his parents are so accepting of me. What should I do? Well, I think this is something that a lot of people face. Yeah, actually it's accepting. Yeah, it's yeah. very, very common. I face it on a daily basis. Not me, really, not very accepting lah because I think I'm not not traditional. Because you're Hong Xiao la. I think the most important <laughs> thing still is your partner. Yes. If your partner really likes you then like... Mm. Because I think if your partner is on the fence then all the more your opposite side will be very it. insecure. Mm-hmm. If your parents sure. don't really like, right, then you must reassure your partner that yeah. you are all for this relationship. Uh. Maybe another active step that you can do as the not facing conflict partner is to be the one that keeps nurturing this relationship between your partner and your parents. Yeah. So I think with that said, it's like we come to the end of the episode. But just one last question, which is like advice 
to couples on having a healthy relationship even after the honeymoon period? Yeah. Like, how do you still maintain that strong relationship? The honeymoon period should never end actually. <laughs> it should be like popping up here and there mm-hmm. once in a while. And of course, communication is key. Yeah. Um, do not sleep without fixing an issue. That will develop a bad habit of mm. keeping problems and making them bigger than it should be. Mm. Or oh, you sleep one day lah, at least the next morning. Ah, okay, maximum like, one day. Maximum yeah. one maximum day. Maximum one day. But you gotta solve it within the next day lah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't don't let it um, fester. Yeah. Too long. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Julian said. You need to have a lot of patience. Mm. Uh, you need to have a lot of commitment when you don't have the butterflies there, and when everything becomes too comfortable, right? That is when the true test of the relationship starts. Personally, I just feel that like you just need a lot of honesty with each other. You don't want to expect your partner to understand and read your mind all the time. It never ever hurts to be to be honest about your needs. I think also it's just small things like for example you go out then you see like wow the sunset very nice then you just text them like hey sunset very nice when we're going to watch sunset together so it's like small things like that the other party will like really appreciate it I feel if they yeah. if someone say that I'm like oh my god yeah okay let's go now <laughs> so today we talked about the honeymoon phase in relationships and we kind of concluded that you know it's just just have to be comfortable in front of your partner that's the most important thing so thank you Bifesta for making this video possible and Bifesta has just launched their new Siba Micella wipes for ladies that are looking for a convenient and refreshing makeup remover if you want to find out more about the products click the link in our description and you're also able to try out a sample there. And let us know also in the comments what else you want us to talk about in future episodes of Chick Chats and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.